We got the moving truck a little early, so that was awesome. There's nobody coming, right? We really don't have that much, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, I think that only took about, what, 30 minutes, Willow? All right, let's go to the storage unit. Put the stuff in there. So we're going up these elevators to second floor. And those are the first floor storage units. I highly recommend life storage for storing your stuff, but I'll talk to you more about it once we're done taking our stuff upstairs because it's just the three of us and I can't do a whole lot, so it's mainly Rick and the kids uh, moving our stuff. It's not that much, but still. So I'll talk to you a little bit later and give you my review. So far, awesome. Okay, another round. That's the Christmas tree. I thought we were gonna get rid of it, but I think we got one more year out of it. We took it down early. I took it down last night, matter of fact, just because it won't fit in our, in our little car there. So we had to bring everything that we have that it's too big. All I gotta say is you only live once, so take action. If you have a passion or dreams or goals, make a plan. Don't say I can't do it. Figure out how can you do this thing that you wanna do, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be moving or traveling the world. It could be a small business at home. It could be, uh, I don't know, whatever. Everybody has a gazillion and one dreams out there, so find yours. That's a hard, hard thing because sometimes people just don't know what that might be. And uh, that's something that you have to, you know, dig deep and find, find out what that is. And then just don't tell yourself you can't do it. How can you do it? Research. You got Google, Yahoo. <laughs> There's all kinds of search engines. All you got to do is type in your question that you have. If you don't know how to do the, um, Thing that you want to do because you don't know where to start like step one step one is always declutter get rid of crap <laughs> no matter what you're doing in your life even if you're not moving get rid of it um, just keep the stuff that you love I'm not saying you have to live with nothing just keep the stuff that you really love that you want to surround yourself with things that make you happy don't keep stuff that's just garbage and laying around and you don't really care about it one way or the other so step two is once you find that thing that you want to do, research. It could take months, it could take years, so start now. And even if you don't know when or where you're going, it's these small steps. It propels you into the next step. So don't worry about the end results because you may not even end up at that end result. It's just getting yourself in motion. And just go with it from there. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it or your dream is crazy or whatever. I mean, they're going to say it one way or the other, but don't let that stop you. It doesn't hurt to do the research. It doesn't hurt to take those steps and take those baby steps because, like I said, you might end up doing something completely different, but you wouldn't be doing that thing unless you had started with something. If you do nothing, nothing will happen. If you're not happy in your life and you do nothing, you will stay unhappy. If you're happy, awesome. <laughs> but who doesn't like uh, some more adventure in life? I don't know. Maybe some people don't, but uh, if you're looking just to have a little extra money, extra adventure, extra something in your life, then take action and do it. Otherwise things will, you know, stay status quo. And if that's okay with you, it's okay with me. No judgment over here. Um, you're happy, I'm happy. And the last thing I want to say about life storage, what I really like is that there's no contract. I may have mentioned that in another video because sometimes you just don't know how long you'll be in one place or how long you need storage. So that's really nice that it's month to month. And what's also nice is if you need a bigger unit or you need a smaller unit, they said that they're happy to move you. Um, so just very convenient, very helpful. They just they're not hindering you. So many businesses 
put all these different clauses and and difficulties in your way and, and it's just not a pleasure to deal with. This company has been a pleasure to deal with. They just want to help you and work out with you. I don't know if all life storages across the country or the world are as nice as the ones here in Northport, but I got to tell you, life storage corporate, if you're listening, these people here in Northport should be like, I don't know, given gold stars, raises, <laughs> I don't know. They're like the perfect example of how business should be done. If all your businesses across the world are this way, I could see why you're one of the largest self-storage units in the world because you do it right. It's, it's amazing. I see very few businesses anymore who do it right, the, you know, the way they should, making customers feel comfortable and happy and just being helpful to the customer. So thank you so much. I, you have no idea. How much I appreciate that that's customer service is like my pet peeve when it's when you don't have any and when you get customer service it's like oh thank god I appreciate it so much so thank you so if I remember right the manager's name was Nancy and the assistant manager was Aurelia Aurelia beautiful name I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right though but yeah, and uh, uh, Tamiko, so I worked with her on Friday when we reserved the place. So I just wanted to uh, mention all three names here, Northport uh, Life Storage Units. Uh, they were really nice. And the other people too that walked through just smiles. <laughs> what else can you ask for? So this is a 10 by 10 unit and it's not even full. See all that space we got? And I'd still like to downsize a little bit. And there's the rest of the units. You can see the different sizes. These are all like 10 by 10s. Here's some smaller ones, just the size of closet, if you just need for a few boxes. I think these are only like $25 a month. That's all you need. Still smells new in here too. And then you have outside storage units too. They even have parking for cars. I think I'll leave it here for today. Thanks for watching us move some of our stuff. No, we didn't move out of our house. We're still there. Um, we're just trying to make room so we can make it all nice. But this is stuff, like I said, photo albums and memory boxes and things that we want to keep, but they're kind of in the way with uh, painting and you know making the house look nice. But we want to keep those type of things. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll be keeping you updated with what we're doing because we're going day to day on a lot of stuff and don't know everything that we're doing. I like doing things this way, slowly and carefully because it's less stressful for me and uh, I don't end up hurting my back or doing something stupid. <laughs> and it's less stressful for everybody else as well. Well, again, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and please share. It really helps uh, our channel grow and helps us with our dreams and so we can share them with you here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support. As always, we really appreciate you guys. <laughs>